today we're gonna learn how to use extract tool on Photoshop to take off the hair uh, from images let's get started click on file and look for the file you wanna work on that's the file I'm going to work it's always better if you um, crop up or make a layer of the part of the image you're going to work on I'm going to cut off her hair so we can use it for another background or image since you see these colors um, are similar to the background the extract tool it's not gonna be able to help us very well we're gonna have to use the pen tool to make a selection We're going to work on the hair using the extract tools, that's why I'm leaving off this white area because pen is not very good at it. Okay, that's the part we're going to work on using the extract tool. Go to filter and extract. When you come to the extract window, don't worry about anything else. Just um, start, start drawing from one end to the other end of the image. And make sure you select all the edges. Okay, we're done selecting the edges and for the main part of the image that we want to keep, we click on this part because we don't want to lose our face, right? And click on OK. Let's see how good it really is. We're going to use a background image for these new layers that we have just created. Let's just drag and drop this layer to our new image. See, it ain't that great, but it's good enough. We can fix it. This part we can take care of using the erase tool. Just so you know, the extract tool is a cool feature, but it's not very great itself. So most of the time we're going to have to use other tools such as um, the clone stamp, the brush, even the eraser too. So um, we can't really depend on the extract tool very much. But it did a pretty good work on here because we had a white background in our image. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed and you learned something.